This is my buddy Brian Nauer. Okay, Brian, like I said, this is an interview for not exactly our church, but over church issues and whatnot. I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? Do I consider myself to be a good person? Hmm. I mean, for the most part, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can I ask you a few questions to see if that's true? Okay. Okay, have you ever lied before? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've lied before, too. <laughs> that makes you a... Doesn't make me a bad person. No, it starts with an L. It's a if I yeah, a liar. If I were to lie, I'd be a liar, which I am. I'm a liar. Uh, have you ever stolen anything before? Irrelevant of value. Yeah. Yeah, and that would make you a a thief. A thief. <laughs> okay, I've stolen something too before. We're all guilty of it, man. Okay. Uh, Jesus said, "You've heard it said of old, thou shalt not commit adultery." You know what adultery is, right? Sleeping with somebody who's not your wife or husband or whatnot. But Jesus said, I say unto you, whosoever even look upon a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her already in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust before, with desire? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> in God's eyes, I have too. Obviously, every person has. I mean, right. in God's eyes, we're both adulterers. Now, if you haven't caught on, that's the Ten Commandments that we're going through. And that's just three of them. Right. And we've already established right. we've broken three of them. <laughs> so, uh... We don't need to go through the rest of the other seven. <laughs> uh, so, if God were to be just and to give us, you know, what we deserve, would you be guilty or innocent? If he, if he were to, to judge you by those Ten Commandments, would you be innocent or guilty? I'd be guilty. Guilty. Okay, would, me too. Would and, you uh, Would you go to heaven or hell based on those Ten Commandments? Based on those Ten Commandments? Yes. But based on the Commandments, I'd go to hell. Does that concern you? Well, I mean, in a way, yeah. Because we all got to die someday. I mean, yeah. whether it be five minutes from now, from now pulling out of an intersection and getting mowed yeah. down by another vehicle or when we're on our deathbed, you know, 70 years from now, we all got to die someday. And it's the grim statistic. Ten out of ten die. 140 peop 40,000 people die every day. So, <clears throat> bearing that in mind, <clears throat> that we've lied, we've stolen, we've committed adultery, all right, um... Since God would judge us by those commandments on the day of judgment, we'd all be guilty before God. The Bible says that that's why God took on the form of human flesh. As Jesus Christ, he was born of a virgin, he lived a perfect life, and he took the penalty for us on the cross. It's a, it's a legal transaction. Most people don't understand it. Okay. But what had happened was <clears throat> he paid the penalty for our sins. He took our sins on his shoulders. Being that he was sinless, because I have my sins and you have yours, so you can't take mine and I can't take yours. We have our, you know, each of our own to account for. But Jesus lived a sinless life so that he could take our sins upon him on the cross. That way we might be able to gain entry to heaven. See, God has, and being a just God, he had to punish sin. He couldn't just let it go. Like, if you go in the courtroom, you can't just be like, you know, I'm sorry. Let me go, Judge. So it's sorry, like, it so it's like this. Let's put it in legal terms, okay? Let's say that you're standing before a judge, okay? And the judge says, you either go to jail for life <laughs> or you have to pay $500,000. But you don't have any money, okay? And he's getting ready to throw the gavel down at you. And someone you've never met before in your life stands up in the audience and says, Your Honor... I'll pay his fine. How would you feel towards that person? <laughs> Grateful, right? Yeah. I'd, yeah. Well, see, the, Bi <laughs> the Bible says that that's what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. God came down in human flesh, lived a perfectly sinless life, and he died so that he could pay the, the, the ransom for our sins on the cross. And all we'd have to do to receive that free gift is simply believe what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Believe in your heart that He died for your sins and that He rose on the third day to give you everlasting life in heaven. And the Bible says if you believe that, that you'll be saved. And that you can know based on God's Word, His promise to you, that you'd get to go to heaven when you die. So, you want, you want to take uh, okay. one of these pamphlets I got for you, Brian. And when you get a chance, man, take it home and read it. This is just basically broken down, you know. Yeah, that just breaks it down, man. And when you get a chance, you know, take it home and, and check it out. Read it. Just think on the things that we talked about, man, because I care about you, you know. I'm not gaining anything but ridicule coming out here doing this for people, you know. People right. 
get down on me and my brother and stuff, but 